So, here we are, the glamorous life of Hollywood. You'd think nonstop parties and red carpets abound, but no, instead we're knee-deep in lawsuit paperwork involving neighborhood romance. I'm sure solving issues goes something like this. Hey, can I borrow a cup of sugar? Oh, and please stop seducing my spouse. Deliciously awkward, don't you think? Talk about taking keeping up with the Joneses to a whole new level. Instead of borrowing sugar or lawn mowers, this neighbor allegedly decided to borrow, well, somebody's wife. Honestly, if seduction was a competitive sport, this neighbor seems to have taken the gold medal. Next up, the Olympic Committee needs to add some new dimensions to their medal events. If Cooper Barnes acted in a dramatic soap opera about his life, this lawsuit would be the cliffhanger that brought viewers back for more. Just imagine dazzling scenes of surprise. Who will win? The husband, the neighbor, or the bewildered wife caught in the emotional crossfire? I can already hear the dramatic music score intensifying in the background. If only the neighbor had consulted with a life coach before trying out some neighborly flirtation tactics. I mean, all you wanted was a neighbor to help trim your hedges, not escalate quickly to trim your marriage. Clearly, a neighborhood barbecue is not the place to start a flirtation, or can it? Chill out, folks. It's not the Hunger Games. And now, witness the phenomenon we like to call litigious love. Yes, folks, who needs a Netflix romance movie when you've got your very own neighborhood drama unfolding right before our eyes? Forget Tinder. Let's just slip the neighbor's dog a note asking for a meetup to discuss our future legal entanglements. Sounds way more entertaining, right? So they're suing for emotional distress. What's next? Therapy sessions with the neighbor? How does one even relate to a neighbor post-lawsuit? Hi, can you pass me the salt? And by the way, are you still affecting my marital harmony? Or have you switched to a new title of neighborhood villain? Such great dinner table conversations. But seriously, folks, what are neighbors for? To engage in casual chit chat or to unknowingly lead you into a legal tempest? Who would have thought innocence would go out the window faster than a pizza delivery? So here's the big question. What's your take on this juicy neighborhood scandal? Would you be more offended or just amused? Discuss. Like and subscribe, please.